Hello friend, this is my YouTube channel, I do blow. You can watch it for a strong way foundation of information technology and promises you to give you conceptual knowledge in computer. Keep watching for latest videos. Time to time I will come from with the latest video in computer. Thank you. The app designer page where you can build and design your apps. This is kind of like your design workshop where you can decide what to put inside your app and what your app looks like. On the left side of your screen, you have your app tree. The app tree helps you organize the components in your app. Right under the app tree, we have app components. These are different features that you can put into your app. Thunkable has visible and invisible components. A visible component is something like a button that you can see on your screen. If you want to add a visible component to your app, simply drag and drop it onto the screen. For this app, we're going to add a button. An invisible component is a component that we can't just drop onto the screen, but we can control with visible components. For example, we are going to drop the text-to-speech component into the app. It doesn't change the appearance of the screen, but we can see the text-to-speech component here under our design tree in Invisible Components. On the right side of your screen, you have the Properties panel. This panel allows you to customize the design of the different components. To change a component's design, simply select a component on the app tree, and then you can change the design on its Properties panel. For example, you can change the background color of the screen. I'll change it to red. If you have any questions about what each component does, click on the little question mark. This will take you to our documentation page where you can learn more about each component. That's an overview of how to design your app. Let's talk about programming. To program your app, click on the Blocks section. This is the Blocks Editor. We've created these blocks that snap together like puzzle pieces. We can click on this button drawer and get the When Button Click block. Inside this block, we'll add the text-to-speech block, which we can get from the text-to-speech drawer. We can leave this default hello as a text that will be read out loud. So now you know where to design and program your apps. The last part is testing your apps. There are a few ways to test your app. The easiest way is to click the Live Test button. This will automatically create a version of your app that you can test on your computer. Let's make sure our app does what we want it to do. It should say hello to us when we click the button. Hello. It works. If you want to test your apps directly on your phone or tablet, you can also download the Thunkable Live app on the Google Play Store or App Store. This will allow you to send your apps directly to your personal devices. If you want to publish your apps, you can also upload them to the Google Play Store or App Store by clicking Publish right here. The easiest way to publish an app is to select Publish as a Web App. For Pro Creators, we also offer the opportunity to publish your app as a web app. Publishing as a web app immediately turns your project into a URL, which is really easy to share. All you need to do is send someone your project link and they will be able to access your web app. Also, Somia has to create an app to convert the message. This is my first app. I am an app developer to voice on clicking a button. Can you do this task for her? To complete this task, you will need to visit a website. So make sure that your computer is connected to the internet. Open a web browser. Type the address https colon double slash thunkable.com in the address bar of the browser and press enter. The Thunkable web page appears. You should click the sign up tab to create an account if you do not have one. You cannot use the website without an active Google account. Next, select platform of your choice. In this instance, click Android button. 
A welcome to Funkable page appears. Sign in using your Google account. The main page appears. Click Create New App button. The Create New Funkable App dialog box appears. Let us take a quick quiz. You can use this app development tool only if you have a or an. Well done! Next, enter the project name as text-to-speech and click OK. The designer screen appears. Under the layout, drag two horizontal arrangement layout to the screen and set its properties as given in the table. Let us take a quick quiz. In which panel of the designer screen is the layout tab located? Well done! After this, drag a label control from the user interface to screen 1. Set its properties as given in the table. Drag a button control from the user interface to screen 1. Set its properties as given in the table. to speech under media. It is a non-visible component. Its name appears below the designing screen. The designer screen will look like as shown here. Click the blocks button. The programming code will appear as shown. Click the export drop down arrow. It has two options. The two options are app, provide QR code for .apk. Using this option, the QR code is generated. Scan it through the mobile. A link is generated. Download the file and install it. App, save .apk to my computer. We'll save the .apk file on your computer. You can directly connect your mobile to computer and save the application or you can transfer it through Bluetooth. Tap the app icon on your mobile device. The output screen will appear. Click the text to speech button. You will hear the voice reading the text in label 1. Thank you. Thanks for watching my videos. And if you will like this video, please subscribe my channel press the bell icon. Thank you.